102 years ago, a young man of 16 volunteered for war service. As he wished, he was sent to the trenches of Flanders, where his superiors noted in their records that he behaved well. Building trench parapets under heavy and continuous gunfire and serving a battery of 80-pound guns, the 15-day barrage receding the main Allied thrust on the 31st of July, 2,297 British guns fired over 4 million shells. Four times the number fired prior to the attack on the Somme. Some members of the battalion showed signs of disorientation during the shelling. Eventually, Herbert Morris's nerves gave way and the shell-shocked youngster fled from the trenches. He was absent without leave. Chaplain Ramson recounted the events of the day of the execution. 5 a.m. we were on our way through the damp morning mist and a drizzling rain. His death sentence was confirmed by Field Marshal Douglas Haig. We were admitted at once to the cell and again lifted up our hearts to God in earnest supplication for the condemned man. And he was paraded in front of his battalion as an example. The guard came. In the early hours of the 20th of September, 1917, Morris dictated a letter to Padre Horner for his parents in Jamaica. His hands were handcuffed behind his back, a thick cloth wrapped over his head, and a white cardboard disc pinned on his tunic over the heart. And he was marched out of the cell into the courtyard and tied securely to a post a few feet from the wall. On a small barricade of sandbags, some 20 paces off, were 10 rifles loaded and with bolts drawn back ready for firing. 20 paces off were 10 rifles loaded, bolts drawn back. The captain raised his hand, aim was taken. The captain's hand dropped smartly and the 10 post rifles rang out. A few one feet shot. from the wall. Come on, kid. The body at the post gave one convulsive shudder and was still. Herbert Morris's nerve gave way and the shell shot a few the feet from the wall. From the he was absent without leave. On a small barricade of sandbags, some 20 paces off, were 10 rifles loaded and with bolts drawn back ready for firing. He was executed at dawn by a firing squad, which included seven West Indian. While the prisoner was being secured soldiers. to the post, he had just had his 17th wow. birthday. The 10 men, seven of whom were men of the BWIR, and three white. Were marched in. knelt behind the rifles. The captain's hand dropped smartly. And 
the ten rifles rang out as one shot. 